sorry. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Can anyone hear me? Yes? Yes? Very good. OK. Um, I'm here today to talk about free software and how you can uh, help change the world by doing stuff in free software. Um, what the hell is free software, actually? Um, I assume not everyone here knows what, what it is. So I, I will start with the basics. Um, free software means you have the freedom to use, to study, to modify, and to redistribute the software that you're using. Um, <coughs> these four simple um, rights enable a whole lot. Um, <coughs> Who of you has used free software? Just raise your hand. Very good. Who of you has contributed to free software? Raise your hand. OK, that's less, but still good. Um, you might be familiar with some of these um, programs. Um, those are some very successful free software projects. Um, of course, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more, but those are some of the um, more famous ones. Um, so why should you do something for free software? There are a lot of reasons why pe people um, contribute to free software, like they want to improve their skills, or they're interested in a certain topic, or they want to become famous, or they want to have fun, uh, they want to meet certain people, things like that. Um, but even more important for a lot of people is that you can actually make a real difference. Um, for example, there's um, free software that you can work on that does help with disaster management after things like the uh, earthquake in Haiti. <coughs> it allows um, anonymous communication for uh, people who really need it um, in, in Syria, for example, right now. Um, it, um, there's projects that provide assistive technology for people who, um, <coughs> sorry, for people who need it because they are either blind or hearing impaired or all of that. Um, free software allows um, people who uh, rely on uh, localization of their software to easily get it even if it's not um, financially viable for a big company like Microsoft, for example. Um, there's free software that helps um, with recording of uh, human rights violations and um, election manipulation. There's free software that helps um, in climate science and environmental conservation. Um, there's free software that helps uh, with hospital management in the global south, so uh, people can get relatively cheap access to a hospital management software. Um, and of course, there's a lot of software that helps share knowledge and bring education uh, to people who previously have not had access to it. Um, and as a friend of mine um, recently said, the cure for cancer might be in the brain of a little girl in Bangladesh, and if you give her the access to um, the knowledge she needs, then we will one day be able to cure cancer. Really. So, but the quick, quick question is, how can you actually do something for free software? How do you get in? Um, there's basically two ways to do this. Um, the first one is rather unstructured. You approach a team, you do so, a bit here, a bit there, and you you kind of flow in. Um, and then there's the more structured part, which is in mentoring programs and stuff like that. There are quite a few of those. Um, just to give you an example, there's Google Summer of Code, GNOME's Outreach Program for Women, um, Season of KDE, and XORG's Endless Vacation of Code. Basically, what this means is you work with a mentor in these projects and um, <clears throat> and they often even pay you or you get a t-shirt or some kind of certificate or whatever 
the organization provides. But the most important part is that you get a mentor and can easily um, get into into the project. You have a, a nice task that you can work on that's interesting for you and stuff like that. Um, but no matter which of these two main um, ways you go, the most important part is choose a project, right? You, you need to choose a project you want to work with. Um, and it's always good to choose one that you like and that you use. Um, because this is where you see problems that you can work on. This is where you enjoy working on it and so on. Um, and while looking for a project, you can be sure that all of these projects need your help. Um, not all of them might realize it though already. So they might need a bit of help from you. Um, so once you have your project, um, choose an area you like. There's so many um, that you can help with in free software. That's not just coding. If you are a coder, fine, do code. If not, there's a lot of other stuff you can do as well. Like documentation, translation, you can help organize events. Um, you can do artwork, all kinds of things. So once you have figured this out, um, go and look for a Get Involved page or something like that. Most projects have one where they show you, okay, contact these and these people, work on these and these tasks, things like that. Um, and a pro tip, um, look for a while, find out what, what the project is like, how, how do they tick, um, which communication medium do they use, um, who are the people who do most of the work in this project, who has a say um, what gets done in this project, who, does, um, who makes decisions, who, who does the work and things like that. If you look around for a week or so, you will be able to notice this. And then um, you should start, st start doing stuff. Um, whatever it is you, you chose to do, whatever um, area we want to work on, look for a task. Um, many projects have um, something called junior jobs. They might be called differently in different projects, but in essence, it's small tasks um, that beginners can do um, where they get a bit of hand-holding and stuff like that. So this might be an easy bug fix, or helping update a flyer, or things like that. Look for these, and if they are not available, ask for them. So let's get to, to some, some tips um, once, you're, once you're in. Um, first of all, be realistic about what, you, what your skill set is and what you can do. Um, it's okay to not be the rock star coder um, that you think these people on these projects working are. Um, they're all cool and they all know their stuff, but they're not rock star coders. They're not some kind of god. Um, so be realistic about your, uh, about your skills. You don't have to know everything. Um, it's okay to learn. If you want to learn, there's two projects I, I'd like to um, recommend you. Um, first of all, Open Hedge. Open Hedge is a website where you can, or where projects can go and post um, their junior jobs and basically describe how to get involved in your project. So there, it's a website where you find a lot of these junior jobs, a lot of information about getting involved in very different projects. And at the same time, they offer um, so-called training missions where you can learn stuff like um, how to use version control, how to use a bug tracker, how to do a patch, things like that. And it gets checked by one of their um, bots. Uh, and then it tells you, yes, you did a great job. This is, this is how you do a patch, and so on. So it's very nice and friendly um, for learning some of the basic skills you need um, to contribute to a project. And the other one is Code Academy, um, where you can basically learn to code. Um, 
the other important thing is start small. It's okay to not start with a rewrite of the program um, you want to work on, a complete re rewrite. Um, a, it will probably be too much for you. B, um, you will probably not stick to it to the end. And C, it will very likely not be too appreciated by the uh, projects you want to work with. So start on something small and um, then get bigger. Um, and I think this is one of the things that some people struggle with. Um, get comfortable working in the open. Um, do the stuff you do in the open. Tell people about what you're doing. Um, publish, even if it's not perfect, publish it, uh, get feedback, and things like that. It's hard at the beginning, but it really pays off. Um, meet people. Go to conferences like these. Most projects have conferences like these. Um, usually they are annually, then there's uh, conferences for a whole range of um, projects where they meet. Um, go to these, meet people, talk to people, um, get ideas. These are really useful. And then once you did something cool, go and talk about it. Um, because the stuff you do is important for the project you're working on. And it's equally important to get it done and to get your users to know about it. Um, there's no use in you doing work without your user knowing the cool st about the cool stuff you're doing. And don't forget to help others. Um, along the way, you will likely be helped by a lot of people. Uh, give back. It's very much appreciated. The same thing goes for give credit where credit is due. If someone helped you on a patch, say so. That's fine. Um, no one has to be the perfect person who does everything on their own. That's usually in free software even a bad thing. So work together with people and give credit where credit is due. Um, take on responsibility. Um, become at some point, for example, the maintainer of your program or become the person who is um, maintaining your UI guidelines or, or something like that. Um, but at the same time, don't disappoint. Don't take on a lot of responsibility and then let it slip um, everywhere because that's not good for you and it's not good for the project. And most importantly, don't give up. There will be struggles along the way. Things will not compile. Things will not look good. Um, people will bitch at you, but don't give up. It will be worth it. Um, and if you want to read a bit more from people who have contributed a lot to free software and talked about what they wish they had known when they started, you can get this book for free, by the way, online. Um, where 42 uh, people uh, talk write about um, what they wish they had known. And most importantly, go and do it. Um, there's nothing stopping you from going out and doing it. Um, I will take some questions now, and I will also be outside there after the talk, um, if you want, if you prefer a one-on-one -on -one talk or something like that. So, are there questions? Did you? Who raise your hands? Ah, there. Hello. I have a question on what open source projects are you working on? And what you are doing there?
Okay. More questions? No? Well? No? <laughs> okay. Well, then, thank you very much. As I said, I will be outside um, there after the talk uh, if anyone has more questions. Thank you very much.